you must have noticed the green and white or the yellow and white lighting facility on top of ATC tower at most of the aerodromes. This facility is called the aerodrome beacon or the aeronautical beacon. This facility must be provided at aerodromes where night operations may be carried out or at an aerodrome where aircrafts navigate predominantly by visual means or at an aerodrome where conditions of reduced visibility is frequent or at an aerodrome where it is difficult to locate the aerodrome due to the terrain and the ambient lighting. While installing this facility, care should be taken that the ambient lighting is low, the beacon is not shielded by any other object and that it does not dazzle the pilot. Getting into the technical aspect, the frequency of the flashes of this beacon should be 20 to 30 per minute. For land aerodromes, the color emitted by the beacon should be green and white. And for water aerodromes, it should be yellow and white. In case the aerodrome is a combined water and land aerodrome, the color of the flashes is determined by the principal facility. The beacon must be visible in all directions and the beam spread should be such that it extends upward from an elevation of not more than 1 degree to an elevation determined by appropriate authority to be sufficient to provide guidance at maximum elevation at which the beacon is intended to be used. And the effective intensity of the flash should not be less than 2000 candelas. But in case of ambient background lighting being high, the effective intensity may be increased by a factor up to a value of 10.